felt seriously and we feel seriously today that they did not receive the trial that any person would want to receive because of the written demand of the defendants in this case to produce, for the county attorney to produce some of these records. We did not have them. They had been in the possession of the grand jury, the auditors, persons that we did not know, knowing that the whole case was about records. We asked them to produce the records. We did not have the facilities and so forth to provide for jurisdiction over this board. In as much as uh, if the act is unconstitutional, then he would have to be faced with it. And uh, he has answered uh, affirmatively. In many fields of state government, we are facing a crisis. This is particularly true in the field of education, both higher education and our common schools. A financial crisis, if you please. I think that we're facing a crisis in the field of highway development. I don't know of any other field where the people of Oklahoma are more fed up with what we haven't had. You can go through the other areas of state government, reapportionment of our legislature, the proposal to take petty politics out of our state employee system by the establishment of a merit system for state employees. And we offer, in the Democratic program of 1958, the Big Red E program, which following the runoff primary on July the 22nd became the Democratic program of 1958. I think that much can be done and many millions of dollars saved in Oklahoma by the establishment of some fundamental basic reforms in state government. During the primary campaign, you uh, said that your primary opponent, Mr. Uh, Atkinson, dodged the issue on certain things. Now Mr. Ferguson is turning the gun on you and saying that you're dodging the issue on repeal. That's right. How do you, do you, you say that you are dodging the issue? No, or? I say that's right. He says that I'm dodging I it. I see. What answer uh, do you have for him? Well, a uh, simple answer that I could hardly be dodging an issue when I've taken the position that I have from the beginning and been consistent with it all the way through, which is simply that I don't think the people of Oklahoma need or want to be told how to vote on repeal. They do deserve, the people deserve the right to vote on it, and I'll submit it just as quick or quicker than the Republican nominee were he elected. Uh, governor, I don't think that's dodging the issue. I campaigned for repeal myself in 1949. I have my own personal sentiments about it, but I don't think you particularly care for me to tell you how to vote or anybody else on that issue in particular.
feel that the price reductions at the present time are unwarranted and too, too much. Now, what do you as a group propose to try to do about it? Well, there's very little we as a group can do about it, with the exception of calling attention to the people and to the companies that uh, purchase this crude, that their prices are out of line. It puts the price of much of the Oklahoma crude below the posted price of Texas and Kansas crude. Now, how much money is this going to mean uh, that might be lost to the Oklahoma producers? It will cost the producers of Oklahoma crude about $25,000 a day.